In this video, we will show you how to build a curved wall the easy way using FlexiTrack. Framing curved walls used to be quite a chore, but now using FlexiTrack, even a guy like me can do it simply without breaking a sweat. FlexiTrack is available in a wide variety of sizes and gauges. We even have a 25 gauge and a 3 and 5 eighths width if you're looking for a lighter duty solution. Today we're going to use the most common size, 3 and 5 eighths, 20 gauge to build our wall. Now suppose your plans call for an 8 foot radius, but we'll just strike this here on the floor, 8 foot radius. Now comes the fun part. Just shape the flexi track to match the curve you've drawn on the floor. It's really easily shaped by hand. To secure the track in this shape, all you have to do is hit these tabs with your hammer on the concrete and it locks them instantly. When they're smooth to the touch, it's locked and it won't pivot anymore. If you're building a wall for a lateral load, like a wind load, you'll need to install screws along each side. For those hard to lay out radii, we have a service where we will mail you a 10 foot long full scale template. Your full scale computer generated template comes like this. Just roll it out, lay it on the floor, and match your track to the line. Okay, just match it to it. Just go to our website and fill out an order form. It's only $11 per radius, shipping included. Here's something else you might like to know. It's not uncommon for your blueprints or BIM model to call for a really large radius, like 80 feet or even 400 feet. It's just not realistic or practical to lay that out using a tape or a string and marking it. Did you say 400 foot radius or 400 foot and 5 eighths inch radius? Back to our wall. Now you've got your bottom track. Just flip it over and match the top track to it. Shoot your bottom track to the floor. Plumb up to locate the top track exactly where you want it. You can screw it to your bar joist, to your wood joist, or to your ceiling grid. Install your studs as you normally would, but keep in mind you'll need a closer layout than normal, say six to eight inches depending on how tight the radius is. The additional studs help the wall covering bend more smoothly without making flat spots. Hey, that one went in slick. There are a number of wall coverings you can wrap around this, but the most common is jitboard. I'll cover that in a separate video. Now you have seen the easy way to build a curved wall, simply and without breaking a sweat. Framing a curved wall used to be quite a chore, but now using FlexiTrack, even a guy like me can do it without. Without even breaking a sweat. Right, it's 95 degrees out here. Can you see that on my face? Man, let's try it again. <laughs>